Hi everybody and welcome to our Metro Ethernet talk. My name is Vasily Mukin. I am Solution Architect of Juniper Networks. Today we continue our talk around building a MEF compliant e-access service by using a Juniper Networks platforms. During the last session we were able to establish an operator virtual connection or OVC between Uni and ENNI ports of two Juniper routers. Meanwhile, lacking of class of service configuration resulted in assigning a wrong color to some Ethernet frames at ENNI side and today we'll take a closer look to the cause part of the configuration and try to fix this problem. Let's see at high level what is happening with the frame when it's traversing from unit to ENNI side from cause perspective according to MEF spec. The switch uses PCP bit in header of the original Ethernet frame at the UNI port to classify it and assign the frame with the calls label and color. Just to avoid some possible confusions, terms calls labels and colors are used here in context of MEF recommendation for calls and has nothing to do with MPLS labels or traffic engineering which uses a very similar terms. Now further forwarding decision like filtering, policing, shaping, rewriting of calls marks will be made based on these attributes. MEF operates with three types of cost labels, H, M and L, and three colors green, yellow and red. Frames which gain a red color are usually discarded and we skip it in the diagram. In its turn, Junus uses two other attributes known as forwarding class and loss priority, which provides one-to-one -one mapping to MEF cost labels and frame color. At core side, in ingress direction, switch pushes a new OVC header to the frame with appropriate OVC ID and course mark. Header type and identifiers depend on particular implementations and technology used in the core of the Metro network. In our today example, we use Martini socket ID and MPLS X bit respectively. When the packet reaches the ENNI node, it is classified at core interface first, assigned with course label and color, processed according to the service policy and sent out of the ENNI port encapsulated with a provider bridge Ethernet header with OVC outer S tag, PCP and DI bits. In the opposite direction, classification and rewrite procedures are swapping vice versa. The only note to make here is that we don't need to assign any rewrite rule at Uniport to make sure the original customer C tag and PCP are preserved. MEF recommendation exactly specifies the mapping between values of the PCP, DI bits, calls labels and colors. I use this table to configure a classifiers and rewrite rules at both routers appropriately. In our today exercise we are leveraging the setup and configuration we built during our previous session for e-access. OVC connectivity is enabled by Martini socket established between two nodes connected via MPLS fabric. ACX5K series router on the left hosts the UniPort and a MAX router on the right hosts the ENNI. Both routers are pre-configured with five forwarding classes. Three classes are used to forward customer traffic and correspond to three course labels advised by MEF. Network control class, as it is clear from its name, used for control protocols and OEM traffic of the network itself. If UNI or ENNI port receive traffic with not eligible values of PCP and DI bits, it will be classified in invalid class. Network still tries to deliver it, but with the lowest possible priority. Same set of classifiers and rewrite rules are used on both nodes. At the UNI side, we need CTAG classifier for the traffic received from CPE and XP bit classifier for traffic received from the network. Configuration is based on the mapping recommended by MEF. The X classifier is already assigned to the core interfaces. On ACX we can do it globally, and on a MAX router we have it assigned to each core interface individually. Now I'm adding CTAG classifier to UNI and STAG classifier to ENNI endpoint at a MAX router. In my example, STAG classifier is used with provider bridge ether type, which takes into account DEI value of the incoming frame. If this is not a requirement in your case, you can use a regular IEEE classifier for dot one q encapsulation. Rewrite rules have similar to classifier configuration. X bit rewrite rule is already assigned to core facing interfaces, and I am configuring it now for an ENNI port. 
Uniport in its turn does not require any rewrite rules to preserve an original customer frame header. Before we send any traffic to the network, I want to enable filters at core and ENNI ports of the MX side. Each term of filter counts amount of traffic getting to each forwarding class and loss priority, or in other words, how much traffic I assigned with the given calls labels and colors. We'll use it in a later time to monitor traffic forwarding in a given OVC. After committing configurations at both nodes, we are ready to send traffic and verify if there is any changes in traffic profile in comparison with what we saw during our previous session. As expected, we have no losses. All 500 packets were delivered in both directions. At the ENNI side, we received a double tag frames with a provider bridge outer header and S tag set to 555. Priorities bit of the OVC S header are consistent with original customer priorities. And voila, we have frame with PCP value of 2 classified as yellow traffic with DI bit set to 1. At the UNI side, we again have no losses, C tag and customer priorities is received as expected. And at the last step of our exercise, let's make sure that traffic in the OVC is delivered with appropriate calls labels inside the network itself. As you remember, we are using a dedicated filters and counters for these purposes on a Mac side. We have 125 packets in three classes and 25% of traffic has been classified as other. Are there something broken? As a matter of fact, I was a bit lazy and didn't configure traffic generator flows at the ENNI with a DI bits. So by default, all frames have DI bits set to zero or green color, which is okay for traffic marked with PCP 1, 3 and 5. But traffic with PCP value of 2 or 010 should be marked as yellow, which corresponds to DI bits set to 1. All frames with the wrong combinations of PCP and DI are classified into invalid class. By design, these frames are delivered with course label L instead of M. I hope that was a valuable session, at least for some of you. Now we know how to configure MEF course labels and colors and Junos and how to assign course label based on PCP in DI base values. As a matter of fact, there is another valuable case for assigning course labels to OVC circuits specified by MEF. I am going to talk about it into the next session. Thank you for staying with us and looking forward to meet you at our next Metri Ethernet talk session.